Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. It's a new series. This will be our final series before Farm Sim 25 comes out. We are alone on this island and we have a survival let's play lined up for you guys. So let's get started. I'll show you where my new place is. I'm excited about this new series. This is our first episode, officially. Um, we did have an unofficial episode zero uh, as part of a live stream. And you guys in the chat helped me get this farm established. I wanna show you what we're starting with and then I'm gonna go over the rules of this survival let's play hey this is our farm that we set up on the live stream uh, we are on a map called alone in the world by Grimlock RRC I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to load it it's available on mod hub and it's for all platforms I want to show you how we've changed things up because we have done so uh, quite a bit. First, here is the map. Now, traditionally in new farmer mode, you start on this tile two. And you start with a very small cultivated field and a farmhouse, a silo, and a barn. What we've done is just to make things a little more interesting, a little different, maybe even a little more difficult, is we are starting on tile seven. So we're farther away from all the production and sell points, uh, the dealer. We're also in a bit more mountainous and less level area. Where we have our uh, farm right now is, I think, the most level area of our map. We may, I may find myself to be wrong. Uh, but anyway, we've set up camp here. These are all uh, placeables that are provided by the map maker and that you get in new farmer mode. So we've simply relocated them to our plot of land. We have an old silo. We have the farmhouse. And we have the barn. As far as equipment and vehicles, I'll show you briefly. We have the tracker provided in new farmer mode, and it's just a Blizzard 130 automatic. So what you need to know is 130 horsepower. Uh, it goes 26 miles per hour. And then we did swap out the starting uh, harvester, which was the Roth Lamash. We swapped it for the Massey Ferguson 3640. Uh, and the biggest reason is for its horsepower and its age. So 100 horsepower, and this is a pre-year uh, 2000 uh, vehicle. Uh, we've got the uh, starting uh, Welger trailer. We've got the included header. We've got a subsoiler. We swapped this out for the starting plow, which was... Um, pretty pathetic, but we can at least create fields with that. Uh, we've got the starting in game. We've got the starting cedar. We added a chainsaw. We added a front loader for the tractor. And for tools, we've got the pallet fork. And we've got this beet basket stone picker. And that is so we can pick up stones. Uh, we have the uh weight that you start with as well okay that is it so as for goals and rules i'll put them on the screen now the goal is to number one pay off our loan of one hundred thousand dollars uh goal number two is to grow our assets to at least six hundred thousand dollars and that's including the asset value of our current uh equipment vehicles land and so on um, I'll put on the screen briefly the approximate value of that. So that's basically earning $200,000 
after paying off the loan and then after selling all of your equipment. So I just kind of rounded up $600,000. I thought that would be a good goal. And then to go over the rules, uh, there's not going to be any uh, leasing or borrowing extra money. Uh, the vehicles all need to be pre 2000 year production and be less than 155 horsepower. Uh, I like that rule. It is a bit constraining, but I think that's going to kind of add to the challenge. And then finally, I am allowed one hired worker, but only after paying off that $100,000 loan. I'll also leave those in the description for you. Now, in our live stream for episode zero, we created this field. I'll show it to you right here. It's not really big or small, uh, but it's, uh, it's a good size. It's not uh, square, which I kind of like. I kind of like squiggly fields, as you know. And we took that bucket that we start with and we scraped all of the stones off of most of the land. You can see where it has this texture that there's still some stones remaining. Um, we have a little pile of stones over here. The rest of those stones we put in the uh, lime production facility that is over at the, uh, at the docks. I'll show that to you a little later perhaps. But what I wanted to do on this episode was a couple things. Number one, we're going to uh, pick up the rest of the stones on this field. We're going to make a very small equipment adjustment. <laughs> it's a problem that we ran into when we uh, originally sold these stones. And that is our weight. It is not nearly heavy enough to counterbalance a full bucket of stones. So we're going to fell that and buy a much bigger weight. This is the uh, lime production facility right here. You can see that we've already processed <laughs> the 714 liters of, lime, of stone into lime. Uh, that was pretty quick. We will load that up. And one of my fears is that we're not gonna be able to make enough lime to fully keep up with our fields. And that's fine. We'll. I guess just buy some. Anyway, let's let's see. Is there an actual dealership you can walk to? I'm gonna turn on interactive zone markers just so we can see a little more of what's going on. Ah, here is our dealership right here. And no, you cannot go inside, but we can do this. All right, we are going to sell this weight. You know what? Actually, let's hold on to that weight. We'll, we're probably going to need that for other things, but we are going to need a much heavier weight in addition. So let's go ahead and get that. Um, so I added these, this Fent mod uh, where we can do a 1250 and even a 2500 kilogram. We're probably going to need that. We're going to probably need all of that. Um, I don't think we need the extension. Um, the main color is cost more. We'll just leave it at that. All right, it's going to cost us $1,500. Uh, in the context of what we're working with, that's a lot of money. But we need it. Okay, so I've realized I've, I made a slight error <laughs> in that there's not a, uh, a pin hitch on this weight like there is on this one. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take I'm going to take some things back to the farm and then I'll come back for some others. 
but bear with me. So we'll take a uh, fertilizer pallet and then I'm going to take the uh, panels off of this wagon, off this trailer. Let's do that right now. And um, what I really mean is we're going to convert it into a bale trailer. It doesn't cost anything and um, we're going to be storing those uh, panels over in that uh, shed. All right, now, go ahead and get these, oh no. Oh crap, I just, I just sold, I just sold a little bit of seeds. That was, that's no good. Oh well, at least we got our money back. So that that doesn't happen again, I'm going to pull this wagon forward a little bit. Like that. Okay. Now, let me get the rest of these loaded up, and then I will check back in with you. Okay, so we've got those set up. What we'll do, we'll take all this, we'll come back for our bucket and our new mega weight. Strap these up. Let's get back to the farm. Oh, one thing I just now noticed. Um, our tractor is in need of repair and fuel. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll do that. I think this is a repair spot right here. Yes, it is. All right. Let's get this repaired. Let's repair our trailer. And everything else should be okay. Our weights. <laughs> Our weight needs uh, repairing. We're not going to do that. Okay, I'm glad I saw that. Uh, there is a place to refuel around here too, so let's do that. Okay, and the refueling point is just around this corner. I'm going to decouple from my trailer so I can get over there more easily. Let's get here, and now we're refueling. Wow, that $20,000 has already been dipped into quite a bit. Uh, we spent almost $5,000 of that, and we haven't even started putting seed in the ground. Okay. I'm going to head over to the farm and I will come back for the other equipment. Quickly going to drop off this wagon and the weight. Wagon. Oh, and the pallet fork. Wait. And yes, I realize I'm making a mess. Um, another issue is going to be our barn. We'll take care of that a little bit later. If you listen to my live stream, 
Um, <laughs> we talked about that. Um, I'll leave a, uh, a little link up in the corner if you want to watch that live stream. Uh, just so you're caught up with how we got to where we are. Okay, let's head back to the docks. I'll see you there. All right, and finally, let's get our bucket, our stone bucket. And our new weight. And that is nice to have all of our stuff at our farm where it should be. Oh, that is a big weight. <laughs> You could visibly see our tractor squench down. No, that's not really a good word. <laughs> you could visibly see our tractor uh, back in uh, go down from the weight. All right. Again, to the farm. I'll see you there. All right, so there is a little more work to do in getting these stones picked up. Now that we have a much bigger, um, <laughs> now that we have a much bigger uh, rear weight to counterbalance, we should be able to lift this up with no problem. So let's see if we can't get the balance with this bucket dragging the ground and the still being able to... Oh, I, you know what I need to do? I need to turn on the basket, which we will do like that. And now let's try... Okay, it looks like we are getting that color change, which is nice that we get that. Um, I'm going to do this first person just because I can watch... Well, no, I'm not gonna do it first person. I'm gonna do this like this, and I that way I can just see the rocks that we need to get. And it looks like we're gonna get this over here, okay? And just to remind you what we're doing with these rocks. We're going to put them in the lime production. We're gonna take that lime and we're gonna apply it back to this field. I don't think we're gonna have enough stones to fully lime this field is my fear. We'll find out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up off camera, so I will check back in with you once we've got all these stones picked up. All right, folks. Um, I have almost all of the stones picked up. Let me show you. Here's what we have left. Is this amount here in the center. I have a total of 390 liters in my bucket. I think there's another maybe 300, 400 liters on the ground, just off to the side of the field. I have to say, I'm very disappointed in the yield of our stones. Now, there is an explanation for some of this. Um, number one, we used a subsoiler to create this field. So this is essentially an unplowed field. And when you plow a field, you get large and medium stones. What we have here, I think, are just maybe small stones. So it's likely that in the future I will go back 
and plow this field. When we do that, we're going to get quite a bit more stones. But I think even still, you know, just kind of feeling out how much lime we're going to need, uh, we're never going to get close to getting a self-sustaining supply of stones. Did we get all the stones? Looks like we did, guys. Yeah, we got them all. Uh, let's head over to our stone pile. Now that we've got our big weight, we should be able to uh, pick up all these stones in, in our bucket. Now, before I do that, we need to uh, get this taken care of. So let's do that. And I think what I'll do is I'll just add to my pile right here. I'm going to leave the bucket here. And I just realized we'll also want to leave our large weight here. Let's get that off. Okay. So now I'm going to hook into here. I'm going to put our seed and fertilizer away, and I will check back in with you very shortly. All right, I'll show you what I've done. I put the seed and the fertilizer just inside our barn so that it'll stay dry from like direct rain, but we'll also have access to it from the outside. This barn um, has really limited access to, I mean, it really is not a suitable uh, storage place. And this is the reason why. Uh, this is the only entrance that I can even make, uh, that I can even get into with my uh, tractor, much less, you know, a three or four meter uh, implement. So very soon that barn is going to get replaced with something else. Okay. All right. We're gonna put the panels back on our trailer. Let's do that real quick. And standard configuration, yes. Okay. And we're gonna hook back into the trailer. All right. Gonna get our trailer over here. Leave my forks over here. You know, thinking into this a little bit more, I probably could have just build up the bucket with the rest of the stones and just carry them over there in the stone bucket. Um, but, you know, uh, didn't really think of that at the moment. Oh, you know what? I need to leave this weight over here too. Okay. Alright, let's get outbitted for Loading up stones. So 
So the good thing about bringing the wagon to the lime production is we can put lime in our wagon, in our <laughs> trailer. We can put lime in our trailer once it's been processed. Wow, stones are heavy. All right, I am going to put this weight over here. It's really kind of annoying that this large weight does not have a, um, a pin hitch on it, but it doesn't. I'm going to leave our weight over here. You can see our subsoilers left over here. That's because it's too... Excuse me. That is because it is too wide to fit in the barn. All right, we have our 1,206 liters of stone. Let's go take that to uh, production. I'll see you over there. Okay, we are arriving at our lime production facility. Wow, those are some serious bumps right there. All right, I think I have this on left dump. So for that reason, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> get to it. On that side, mmm. I saw it there for a second. Um, let me go around this tree. So I have it on left dump, so I'm gonna try to get there by going around this tree. I'll probably do it differently in the future. So let me see what we've got here. Tip side back, green door left. There we are. Okay. Here goes our stone. Now we should start seeing the stones being uh, made into lime, and there we go. It won't take very long. I think I'm just going to stick around here um, until all the lime is made. So let's do that now. All right. It's only taken um, a couple hours in game to get all these stones made into lime. But that's good. I mean, we didn't have that much. So that's kind of the, the sad part. Now... Let's see if we can get lined up to get the lime port into our trailer. Okay. And there we are, folks, not even 2,000 uh, liters of lime. Well, I really wish there were a place where we could just buy some bulk lime, but we don't have that luxury because I know we're going to need a lot more lime than this. So what that means is I'm going to need to make another trip back here to the store to buy some more lime.
Okay, so I'm gonna drop off this wagon and bucket, and then I'm gonna go back and purchase some extra lime, and then also a fertilizer and lime spreader. Uh, we're out of time for now, so I will leave you there and see you next time when we get this field ready to be sown. So until then, I'm Scott Free For All. I'll see you later.